Hi, fifth graders, it's Ms. Hubble. Let's take a look at converting metric lengths tonight. Today we learned about the metric system and our cool little um, trick, which is King Henry died until drinking chocolate milk. And we learned that those each stand for kilo, hecto, deca, whatever the unit is. The unit might be meters or liters or grams, depending on if you're measuring length or capacity or mass. Then comes deci, centi, and milli. So I taught you guys that you can use this little trick, King Henry died until drinking chocolate milk, to easily convert back and forth between different units of metric measurement. Way easier than multiplying and dividing when we um, were doing standard units of measurement. So let's check out how this is gonna work, okay? I just chose um, several of the problems from your homework tonight so you can check your homework. We're on page 661, okay? So it looks like we need to take 25 meters and we need to convert them to centimeters. So in class, we would underline the units. We're going from meters to centimeters. Now, because centimeters are smaller, we're gonna end up with a bigger number. They're smaller, you're gonna have more of them. So meters to centimeters. Come to your little chart here. I'm gonna write right on my chart with a dry erase. If I'm going from my unit, which since we're doing length, the unit is meters. So we go from meters to centimeters. So we jump, one jump, two jumps. That's like a times 10 to the uh, second power, or in other words, two zeros. It's like times 100. So we go from meters to centimeters, one jump, two jumps, to the right. Now look at your problem. You take the number you have, and you're gonna take wherever the decimal would be, be right behind the five, and you're gonna make one jump, two jumps, to the right. That's where my decimal point is now. But Ms. Hubble, what do we do with all those empty spaces? You just put in a zero. It's 2,500 centimeters. Why does this work? Well, it works because there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So that's kind of like saying 25 times 100. That would be 25 annex two zeros, 2,500. Now, do we have to do it that way? No, it's way easier to move the decimals around. So that's what we'll try to do, okay? Let's erase this so we can use it for the next one. We're gonna do meters to centimeters again. So let's look at our chart. Meters to centimeters, that's one, two, jumps to the right. Take your 4.5 and we're gonna take that decimal and we're gonna make one, two, jumps to the right. One, two, jumps to the right. Our decimal is here. What do I do with that hole I made? I put in a zero, there are no ones, right? So this is gonna be 450. We talked about this in class. Do I need to put the decimal here? No, not really, not if there's anything behind it. If I put the decimal, is it wrong? No, but it's just not how we write numbers. So this one is 4.5 meters equals 450 centimeters. Can we go backwards? Can we go from a small unit of measurement to a larger unit of measurement? Well, sure we can, we can go backwards. The only thing is that now, if we're going to a larger unit of measurement, your number is gonna get smaller. Because if the units are bigger, there's gonna be fewer of them. So what are we doing? We're gonna go from millimeters to centimeters. Let's go over here and we're gonna say, find millimeters, millimeters to centimeters. That's one jump to the left. It's going in the other direction. So let's take our 987, where would the decimal point be at the end of the number? And we're gonna make one jump to the left. That's where our decimal point is now. So that one's gonna be 98.7 centimeters. Look, we had 987 cent millimeters. Now we have fewer. We only have 98.7 because they're larger units. The next couple were actually uh, comparing problems. So let's take a look at those. When we're comparing two numbers, kind of like fractions, you have to have common denominators. Well, when you're comparing two, two measures, you have to have common units. So we have kilometers, kilometers, and meters. We just need to change one of them. It's up to you which one you want to change. 
I see all kind of zeros over here. So I think I'm going to change meters into kilometers. So meters to kilometers. Come over here, find your unit, meters, and we're going to go one, two, three jumps over to kilometers. That's one, two, three jumps to the left. Find your number here. I said we were going to change the 5,000. So the decimal would be at the end. We say one, two, three jumps to the left. So instead of 5,000 meters, we now have five kilometers. Well, five kilometers is greater than three kilometers. So the alligator wants to eat the five. So that means three kilometers is less than 5,000 meters or five kilometers. Do one more like that. We have 38.5 millimeters and we have 10 centimeters. I think I'll go from millimeters to centimeters. I'll change this one. So look at your little chart. Let's wipe it off. This time we're going to go from millimeters to centimeters. That's one jump to the left. So I'm going to go to my millimeters find my decimal, it's right here, and I'm gonna make one jump to the left. So instead of 38.5 millimeters, now I have 3.85 centimeters. Well, is 3.85 centimeters greater or is 10 centimeters greater? Well, 10 centimeters more than three centimeters. So let's just rewrite that now. 300, I'm sorry, 38.5 millimeters was less than 10 centimeters okay there was one more I wanted to do with you I decided to do one from the back I know you have to do all the odds but let's go check out 15 on the back together and this will be our last one this one was cool because just like we were um, making equivalent fractions back when now we're able to make <coughs> excuse me COVID cough now we have to make um, equivalent measurements they said they want us to make three measurements with different units that are equivalent to five meters. So let's come over here, let's find our meters, that's our unit, and let's change it to something else. Let's say one, two jumps to the left, I'm sorry, two jumps to the right gives me centimeters. So I would say this is five, and I would say one, two jumps to the right, here's my new decimal, that gives us centimeters. So 500 centimeters. Let's do another one. What if instead I did three jumps to the right? From meters, I go one, two, three jumps to the right. That gives me millimeters. So I would have my five, the decimal would be here, and I'd say one, two, three jumps to the right. That's 5,000 millimeters. Can I go to the left? Sure I can. It's gonna get pretty small. Good thing you know how to use decimals. Let's go from meters to kilometers. We'll say one, two, three jumps to the left. So this is how this would look. Let's put our five here. We had five meters, but we need to make one, two, three jumps to the left. So the decimal was here. We're gonna say one, two, three jumps to the left. My decimal's here now. Well, what goes in these gaps? Well, of course, zeros go in those gaps. What goes in front? Do we have any ones? No, we don't have any ones. We can put a zero there too. So this is zero and five thousandths of a kilometer. Okay, this is really just about juggling around your decimal points. However many jumps you make in whatever direction you make on your chart, that's how many jumps and that's which direction you're gonna make your jumps with your decimal point in your converted number. Good luck.